This video is brought to you by Chetan Patel, CEO and founder of MWH Holdings Group. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to have a natural knack for managing their finances while others struggle? Well, the mystery we're about to delve into is called financial behavior. It's an intriguing concept that plays a critical role in our lives. Financial behavior is more than just numbers and calculations. It's about the unique ways in which we perceive, handle, and react to money. Our financial behavior influences our financial health, directly impacting our ability to save, invest, and even spend. Moreover, it can reverberate into our overall well-being, shaping our lifestyle, happiness, and even stress levels. Understanding our financial behavior can shed light on our financial decision-making process, helping us make more informed and ultimately better financial choices. If you've ever been puzzled by your own financial decisions or those of others, you're not alone. Let's unravel the mystery of financial behavior together. So, what exactly is financial behavior and what factors influence it? Financial behavior, at its core, is the study of how individuals make decisions about money. It's about how we save, spend, invest, and generally manage our financial resources. But it's not just about the dollars and cents. It's also about the psychology, the motivations, and the influences that guide these decisions. Now let's delve into the factors that shape our financial behavior. First up, personality traits. Yes, your personality can affect your wallet. For instance, those who are more conscientious and less impulsive tend to save more and have less debt. They're the ones who meticulously plan their budgets and stick to them. On the other end of the spectrum, those who are more extroverted and open to experiences are often more prone to impulsive buying and may struggle to save. Next, socioeconomic status plays a significant role too. Studies show that individuals from lower socioeconomic backgrounds are more likely to engage in risky financial behavior such as high interest borrowing. It's not simply about having less money, it's about the stress and uncertainty that financial instability can create influencing decision-making processes. Financial literacy is another key factor. It's about understanding financial concepts and products and being able to use this knowledge to manage money better. Yet, according to a survey by the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, only two-thirds of Americans could pass a basic financial literacy test. This lack of understanding can lead to poor financial decisions, like taking on high-cost debt or failing to plan for retirement. Lastly, let's not forget about the influence of our surroundings, the societal norms, cultural values, and even the financial habits of our friends and family can shape our financial behavior. We're social creatures after all, and it's only natural that we're influenced by those around us. As you can see, financial behavior is influenced by a complex interplay of various factors, but understanding these can help us make better financial decisions. Now that we know what influences financial behavior, let's bust some common myths about it. There's a widespread belief that only the high income earners can attain financial health. This is a myth. The reality is that financial health is more about behavior than income level. It's not about how much you earn, but how wisely you manage it. A person earning a moderate income, but budgeting wisely, saving regularly and investing strategically can achieve better financial health than a high earner who spends recklessly. Another prevalent myth is that investing is gambling. In reality, investing is a calculated risk backed by research and thought out strategies. It's about growing your wealth over time. Unlike gambling, where you're largely leaving it to chance, investing involves making informed decisions based on market trends, company performance, and economic indicators. Let's look at another myth that's been doing the rounds. You need a lot of money to start investing. The truth is, you can start investing with a small amount. There are numerous investment options available today that allow you to start with as little as the cost of a couple of cups of coffee. The key is to start early and stay consistent. The myth of safe as houses is another one that needs busting. The belief that real estate is always the safest investment can be misleading. While real estate can indeed provide steady returns, it is not immune to market fluctuations and economic downturns. Diversification, therefore, is key to a healthy investment portfolio. Finally, there's a myth that you need to be a financial expert to manage your finances or make investments. The reality is, with a little bit of learning, anyone can understand the basics of managing finances and making investments. There are numerous resources available online and offline to help you learn and grow. 
Remember, when it comes to financial behavior, it's important not to fall for these myths. It's the reality that counts. We've discussed what financial behavior is and what influences it, but how can we improve our own financial behavior? The key to improving financial behavior lies in simplicity and practicality. One of the first steps is setting clear, achievable financial goals. Having a target gives direction to our monetary decisions, whether it's saving for a rainy day or investing for a comfortable retirement. Next is budgeting, an essential tool to manage income and expenses effectively, helping us avoid unnecessary debts and maintain a healthy financial life. Saving is another crucial aspect. It's not just about stashing away money, but building a safety net for unforeseen circumstances. And then comes investing. It's not a game of luck, but a strategic move to grow your wealth over time. The importance of financial education cannot be overstated. Continuous learning about financial markets, products, and trends can significantly enhance our financial decision-making abilities. Improving financial behavior may seem daunting, but with these simple steps and a commitment to learning, anyone can do it. To wrap up, let's revisit why understanding and improving financial behavior matters. It's not just about numbers or making more money, it's about creating a secure, fulfilling life for yourself and those you care about. You see, your financial behavior shapes your financial health and, in turn, your overall well-being. Remember those key points we discussed? How debunking myths can pave the way for sound financial decisions. Or how understanding the facts behind financial behavior can help you avoid common pitfalls? Yes, it's all interconnected. It's about creating a balance, a harmony between your income, expenses, savings, and investments. So don't wait another day. Start taking steps to understand and improve your own financial behavior. Whether it's setting a budget, starting a savings plan, or seeking professional advice, every step counts. Remember, the power to improve your financial well-being lies in your own hands. Start taking charge of your financial behavior today.